Good morning, world. <laughs> hey, I wanted to talk to you about the fact that a question I get asked a lot on my channel is which island of Hawaii to move to. Well, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because each island is like a separate country. No kidding. They... Each island is so distinct from the other island, it's like you need a passport to get to that other island. It's so different. Okay, so starting from the most populated down to the least populated, Oahu. A million people, pretty bad traffic, but on the plus side, pros are, as opposed to the cons, very reliable bus system to the minute the bus it's the best in the u.s nation um i used it without a car when i lived in honolulu so i lived in both honolulu and lanikai beach which when i googled best beach in the world lanikai came up so gorgeous beach in kailua um so what is a beautiful island it's just that there's more people um, I would say there's more economic opportunity and more jobs. You can definitely move there and get a job in tourism. Prices are pretty high though. So um, you're looking at renting a room between 500 and 1,000, maybe or maybe not with your own bathroom. Um, so with the density of population and economic opportunity comes higher costs. So that's something to consider. Um, it has the University of Hawaii, College of Manoa. Manoa is beautiful. Um, there's a lot of good hiking. North Shore is where the world-class surfing is. Beautiful place to live. Um, you can get down to Honolulu in about an hour. So if you want to live up there and work, I wouldn't want to do that. But it's a beautiful area, so check it out. Next is the big island 180,000 people now it's the biggest amount of land and it's growing every year because of the volcano it adds seven inches i believe a year to the island it's a wonderful island it is my uh one of my favorites i lived there for five months wild dolphins you can swim with there's lots of adventure opportunity different climates over there um, the north shore is kind of windy but beautiful the kahala coast has incredible beaches don't believe people that say there's no good beaches um, so they're north of kona kona is a pretty thriving city so um, lots of bars restaurants um, if i was going to move back there I'm pretty sure I would live on that side. Um, and then south of Kona is where the wild dolphins are. So uh, if you want something a little more remote, the Hilo side is like old Hawaii, very jungly waterfalls, uh, completely different than the Kona side. So 180,000 people, um, I'd say that uh, tourism again you could get a job in tourism lots of farming you can do woofing if you're uh, wanting to work on farms um, and then um, it's a beautiful island and I have wonderful friends there love you Becca love you Siobhan um, okay and then Maui has 20,000 people less it's 165,000 people it's a gorgeous island I used to only go to Maui on my fancy vacations before I moved to Hawaii um, it's got a lot of waterfalls hiking beautiful beaches again you could get a job in tourism um, probably best if you have your own business uh, that you can take with you because um, prices are pretty high in Maui um, so you got to check out the island that you're considering before you move there. That's what I recommend. So, um, moving on from Maui to Kauai, 65,000 people, that's where I am currently based. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful island and I would say it's the most beautiful island and it resonates with me 
beautiful place, honeymooning, retreats, um, absolutely incredible, stunning, really. Another thing is best to have your own business um, or start one there because you can get a tourist job, but, you know, remember there's the prices that you have to pay to live there. So, you know, you can be a beach bum for $1,000 a month um, if you've got that much coming in um, and not have a complicated life. But uh, the beaches... I think I said are gorgeous North Shore rainy but beautiful I think the most beautiful place on earth although I live on the south side where it's dry um, economic opportunity is not what it is on Oahu so you gotta take that into consideration that you're gonna have high costs and maybe not get a job right away so Lanai is uh, owned by Larry Ellison and of Oracle and um, I've heard he's doing good things over there. I wouldn't move there thinking that you're going to have uh, economic opportunity because there's not much going on over there. Molokai is a farming island. Um, I wouldn't move there expecting to get a job. I don't even know, know how many people are there. And then Ni'ihau is where you have to, you can only go if you're Hawaiian. So there you have it. Um, I just wanted to sum that up a bit if you're thinking about what island to go to, but highly recommend going to the island first, talking to people. Um, I, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I get these um, requests to tell me all about what it's like to live in Hawaii. Well, I, I can't do, if I only did that, I wouldn't have time to have my own life. So um, look for answers online um, and certainly keep watching, subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of... Uh, information on Hawaii but if you do need a one-on-one -on -one about moving to Hawaii I do do um, up to an hour consultation with you so there is a fee because um, it is an hour of my time but but rest assured you're going to get a lot of information that you wouldn't just researching online so thank you so much for all the likes and the comments and the shares have a beautiful day and if you're meant to be in Hawaii you will be Mahalo, which is thank you and many blessings.